Okay, this is number four in our series of five um, multi-view sketches this week. If you're just jumping in at this point of the week, make sure you go over the three-view sketch overview. Make sure you're looking at your last um, three uploads that you've done. I've put corrected examples uh, in the following day's post. Uh, so please check that, see how accurate you're doing. Look at the notes that I provided. If you're really struggling with this, uh, please email me so uh, we can get you back on track. Um, so this part's pretty simple. It's got two different layers here. Uh, you have a hole drilled down towards the center, and then you have this little kind of groove cut in here um, with, a round, uh, with a round cut in the back here. Um, so just to orbit around real quick, that hole does go all the way through. Same with the pocket. Um, so pretty basic part here. So we'll start in our front view. I'm going to switch over to wireframe with hidden, hidden edges. Now, once again, uh, we've seen this in the past. Um, this line is not actually something you should be drawing. This is a, something Inventor does. It puts this tangent edge in between the tangent or the, the arc surface and the flat surface. It's doing the same thing over here inside of here. Those lines should not show up in your drawing. So when you're drawing your front view, you have the overall outline of your object. You should have these two hidden lines here. Uh, these two hidden lines are from each side of the, the hole that's drilled in from the top. Uh, again, disregard this line. And then in the... Uh, for this little pocket, you should only be showing the back side of that. Uh, this hidden line is showing from, again, a tangent edge that Inventor's putting in. Only put the back side of that in um, as you're drawing that. So disregard this hidden line and disregard this object line. So if you want to pause that at this point and draw your front view, remember you should be starting from this corner. Um, and then from your, your front view, you're moving on to your top view. Make sure it's lined up. Hopefully you've been doing that well this week, looking at the examples. Uh, but the width of our or length of our top view should be the same length as our front view as we look at those as we orbit around. Again, we're not worried about sizes here. We're just looking about proportion. So like this edge here, this should line up with the notch cut you put in the front view. Um, from the top view, there are no hidden lines. It's just the overall shape of the object. You have this line here that represents those two different height changes. Um, do your best drawing your circles and arcs in there. If you want to trace something, you can do that. Um, that's your, your top view, and then we'll go over to our right view. Uh, right view is pretty straightforward as well. So from the right, we would have this face here, this, these two small faces on the side, and then the inside of that little pocket. Um, the only hidden lines in the right view would be from the hole. So again, just like the other ones from each side of that hole that's drilled, you'll have those hidden lines. So if you want to pause that and draw that one, that is part number four. If you have any questions, please email me and I'll uh, do my best to help you out. Thanks again for watching.